Assalamu alaikum this is Asma Mushtaq from Double E Vibes and in this tutorial I am going to explain how to perform the pack BCT to ASCII conversion and why we need to perform this conversion because all the numbers or all the information that is represented digitally needs to be converted first into the ASCII so that's why in order to see the clock timings or any uh, date display or any digital information or for the printing purposes the data must be in the ASCII okay so that's why we have to convert the bcd numbers into the ascii fine the bcd information comes into format the first one is the packed information or packed bcd the second one is the unpacked bcd in the packed bcd representation we allocate or we use 8 bits for representing 2 BCD numbers ok so assuming that let's say I have to represent 47 hex so this 47 can be represented like 0 triple 1 4 bits in the lower nibble and 4 bits in the higher nibble and also we must always remember that each which is bcd number can be stored in 4 bits okay while in the unpacked bcd notation 8 bits are used for representing a single bcd digit so a bits 8 bits are allocated for a single bcd number so assuming that I have to represent just 7, so what I will do, I will represent 7 in the lower nibble while the higher nibble will be filled with the 0. So this is called the unpacked BCD representation, fine. Now let's see what's the procedure for converting a packed BCD number into ASCII. So first you will have a packed BCD number. you will convert it into unpacked bcd by end operation Okay, once the data has been converted into the unpacked BCD, the last step is to pack them with 30 hex. Okay, so when you will perform the tagging with the 30 hex, so assuming that the original packed BCD number was 47 hex, we separated into the unpacked BCD so 4 and 7 will be represented separately in the 8 bits and then they both will be tagged with the 30 hex so after the tagging operation 4 will be converted into 34 hex and 7 will be converted into 37 hex which is actually the SK representation of 4 and 7 respectively fine and for tagging that we perform the or operation so or operation is used for actually adding the bits while the and operation is used for removing the bits so let's consider an example that I'm going to write down over here first I will just do by taking a number so 47 hex was taken if I end this is certain BCD number okay if I end it with 0 f hex so let's perform the AND operation bitwise. Sorry, this is 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, and we know that when two bits are same and both are 1, then the AND operation gives us 1. So this will be 1, this will be 1, 0, while these bits will be 0. So see what happened over here. Basically, it's converted into 0, 7 hex. Okay, so... Now, this packed BCD number is converted into what? It's converted into the unpacked data. Fine.
Similarly, if I end again this BCD number 47 hex, which is 0, 1, 0, 0, and then 0, 1, 1, 1 with 1, 1, 1, 1, and then 0, 0, 0, 0, which means F0 hex. Okay, now I'm going to perform an operation with this. So, this these bits will be 0. These will be masked. And then I will have 0, 0, 1, and 0 over here. And see, it's actually 4, 0 hex. All right. And I will, uh, I can uh, see they both are right now in the unpack format. The next operation is to or them with 30 hex fine so this 0000, 0, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 1, 1 can be tagged with the 30 hex which is 0, 0, 1, 1 and then 0, 0, 0, 0. so we can see it becomes 1, 1, 1, 0 then or operation if any of the two bits are equal to 1 then the output will be 1 so 1, 0, 0 and hence it can be seen that this is equivalent to 37 hex. Fine. So the first digit has been converted into the ASCII. Now, looking at this number 40 hex, if I perform simply tagging with exactly this number, then there will be a problem. Why? Let's have a look. So I'm going to perform the tagging with the 30 hex, which is 0011 and then 0000. So basically OR operation is being performed right over here. It becomes 0, 0, 0, 0 and then 1, 1, 1, 0. See, the problem is what? It is actually converted into 70 hex. Fine, but what should I do? Either you can perform OR operation before, but it's better first to swap the number. Okay, so after masking the bits, the next step is to swap this number. Why? Because this will convert it into 0, 4 hex. And then after that, I can actually perform the tagging with 30 hex. So, our answer will be correct. So, looking at this, we can see that this is actually equal to 34 hex. Fine, which is actually the ASCII equivalent of 4. And even if I perform the OR operation first and then I swap them, it becomes 0, 07 hex, which is not correct. Fine. So for the upper nibbles, you always need to perform the swapping. All right, and swapping actually does what? It actually switches the position of the lower nibble with the higher nibble. Fine. So this is how we actually perform the pack BCD to ASCII conveyor. Thank you for watching.